Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, we Hey, look, this weekend we down here in Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, you know, this image right here and sparked up talk in the city. If you influence somebody a little, just a little bit uh, and they run with that, that can go any route. Hunter so, Bailey you know, saw this sign at the intersection of South 18th Street and Texas Avenue in Monroe and had to say something. Not that it matters ultimately. Uh, whether how the depiction of Christ is, but what does matter is uh, getting the truth across and not spreading lies. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going down. All right, people. Go burn any grudge against the spirit of dying. You understand it? We don't know. Not a hater saying this is hate speech. Hey, I got the game. Beat no cheats. Player one can't never play me because I'm on the scripts. Marching for miles, get my bones for this. Prophets of God, we was chose for this. I'ma let wanna be my clone for this. Crown me the king, I need a throne for this. Israelite power. Pop it off, bring it out for an hour. Saint comes, thinking who we can devour. But we stand in the worst strong tower. Cat full of kings with a coward. First, make you pick up your lip. Cup out of word and he dip. Hey, sauce your passion and chips. Hey, so number 10 and 9. Like what time do will you, you look like Trump? your daddy, Chris? Y'all look like brothers, y'all brothers. Spirit on me, then the ends come. Prepare for the so battle. Y'all look like y'all fathers, right? Gotta what fight, can't be Joseph, overcome. Uh, Hold fast, you look like your dad, right? To the so most high, sin his son. Number 10 and 9. So Christ looks like this. What is this? What is that? 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 What is so his dad must be what? Feel it. That's the way it's supposed to be. You understand? Two said amen. So she feel it. Number 10 and 9. Blow the round horn, call the angel. That's what we're about. We're about building our people up, man. You're too busy seeing it third street. Let me tell you all something. Little house of God, watch it live. Hey, don't you feel it? Now we got older men out here. That's what my hand deal with us. And we got the sister. Let me show you what God said. Before he can deal with us as black men, God said we and he said unto me, What'd he say? Stand up manfully. What the Bible say, dude? Hey. Hey. What, what the Bible time, say, dude? Time, stand up manfully. God said, so it's time for us to stand up like men. Right now, we don't got no congregation here. We got a few members here. So we desire to bring probably like 50 men or so down. And you know what I'm saying? Just to teach the people who we about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you got people on the news saying we're a hate group and things like that. Trying to deter our people away. From the true image of Christ, which being a black man, whenever you get to saying Christ a black man, hey, now you hate group and every, you know, when you start to call, uh, cast down Caucasian lies, they sit up there and say you hate group. So. The sign displays information about the religious group Israel United in Christ, based out of Jackson, Mississippi. But it's not about what's on the sign that's turning heads. IUIC is a smaller denomination of the black Hebrew Israelites, which has been deemed a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is due to affiliations made by those charged with hate crimes. The Anti-Defamation League breaks them down as follows. Another sect of black Hebrew Israelites is Israel United in Christ. The group's mission is to spread the black Hebrew Israelite ideology and to educate black individuals of their true place in society. They are committed to spreading the ideology globally and recruiting as many black individuals as possible. This also includes individuals of Latino and Native American descent. So we're just out here to show our people the truth, you know what I'm saying, who we are according to the back. what we going to do in our 28? What color is Jesus Christ? What color you thought you were, you, you thought he was? Well, I didn't say it's according to what I read from Okay, you thought you were told he was black? Uh, I, was, I thought myself. Okay, you thought he was white? No, I never thought he was white. You just didn't know. That's what he depicted 
Yeah, that's what, that's what he's depicted as. What about you? Yeah, because like a lot of times our kids growing up thinking Jesus Christ is a white man. Go to Revelations 1. Listen to this, sir. Listen to this, brother. Read. This is, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of the Jesus Christ. So it say the revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means the revealing. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 11, read. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, right in the book. Now he told John the Revelator, what you see is right in the book. Now read verse 12, read. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Just like if somebody were having me was speaking. John the Revelator said, I turned to see the voice that spake with me, read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He said, I turned around and I seen, what is sign in right there? Give me the sign. He said, I turned around and I seen seven golden candlesticks, read. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. He said in the middle of those seven golden candlesticks, he seen one like unto the Son of Man. Another name for Jesus Christ was the Son of Man, because he was, Joseph was his dad. Read up. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So just like I got a garment down, these brothers got garments going down to their foot. Jesus Christ had a garment going down to his foot, read. And a girdle about the pouch with a golden girdle. Last purple and gold, he had all gold. Uh, belt going around his way, read. Right? His head and his hairs were white like wool. It's two texture on the planet Earth. Afro, thick, uh, thick Afro hair and straight stringy hair. Who got thick Afro hair? Who got woolly hair? We do. We got woolly hair. You got woolly hair. You got woolly hair. So now, where do they get this blonde stringy hair Jesus from? Well, look, we saying, look, I, we don't call it nappy hair. It ain't, look, listen to me. It ain't, but listen to me, bro. It ain't nappy hair. We don't call it nappy hair. The white man call it nappy hair. It's good hair. It's right, curly hair, right. period. Right. right. Read off. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why did he say his eyes was as a flame of fire? Huh? Because he drunk wine. Let's get the problem. Read it out. Read it out. Verse 12. Read it out. I, I, God make the whites of your eyes red. Right. And make the whites of your eyes red. The first miracle that Jesus Christ did was what? He turned water to wine and it went. Read it out. This is the book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So it said his eyes shall be red with wine. So what you see so far? Okay, he said, look, what he's seeing, he's going to write in the book. He's seen seven golden candlesticks. He's seen white woolly hair. And he said the eyes as a flame of fire. Because why? The prophecy said, Moses said his eyes should be red with what? With wine. Read up. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like an off gold. Okay, okay. Off gold. What? A bronze. A bronze. And what color is brown? It's a brown. Brass is the river tip is brown. I got brass all night. Yeah. Now look. This two, this, this two different colors of brass. This is the darker portion of the brass. But listen to what he say. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So look, he said his feet were so dark that it looked like they was burned in a furnace. If I take this and burn it, what color you think it's going to get? It's going to be black. It's going to get brown. So what color is Jesus Christ? He's a black man according to the Bible. Yes, now look, yes, I'm going to tell you something. Y'all heard the King Solomon, right? Okay, get Song of Solomon chapter 1, verse 5. A lot of our people didn't know their color was in the bow. Well, we, are, we ain't going to be out here that long, but you got to fly, though. So go to this is our website, sir. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Now look, this, this is the description of Solomon. Listen, read. I am black. So King Solomon said he what? I am black. He said, I am black. I am black. Did you know that? Did you know this was in the Bible? Read that again. I am black, but comely. He said I'm black, but comely, meaning I'm black, but beautiful. Right. A lot of our people didn't know this was in the Bible. But guess what your Christian pastor say? Your Christian pastor say, this is not King Solomon talking. This is his Ethiopian lover talking. Right. But look, listen to this, read. Verse 1. Yeah. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 1. The song of songs, which is... Solomon. He said the Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So who wrote this? King Solomon wrote this. And what King That's Solomon was saying about himself, read. I am black. He said, I am black, read. But comely. He said, I'm black, but beautiful. 
A lot of our people didn't know that color was in the Bible. So if, look, if it's color in the Bible, what happened to our people? What happened to our people if it's color in the Bible? And why do we think that Jesus Christ is a white man? Why do our people think that the angels is a white man? Why do our people think that God is a white man? Give me that in 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Yeah, y'all come on around. Y'all come on around. Why do they think that? Why do our people think that the greatest people on earth is white? I'm going to show you something. All they did, we sat up here and we put this together. We wrote this. The scriptures say great is the company that published it. Remember, they restricted you from reading and writing for how long? Over 350 years. If you got caught reading, what would they do? If we got caught reading, what happened to us? They'll chop your hand off. Look, if this book wasn't for you, why would they chop your hand off for reading the book if it's all about them? No, they knew you was going to figure out something. You was going to read what we just read in Psalms of Solomon 1 and 5. Right. But why, But after when, after they destroyed you, they took your nationality from you, they took your names from you, they took everything from you. Now they can teach you. That's just like here right now. This little baby. This little baby right here growing up, right? We can teach him anything we want. I could tell him that this is the color green. Growing up all his life. And guess what he'll sit up there and say? It's the color green until he get old enough to be like, hold on, let me read. And he started read everywhere and saying, hold on, that ain't green, that's purple. Right. Now he's gonna be like, hey, they lied to me. Right. They told me that this was green. Right. That's how it is with us now. They said Jesus Christ was white. We went to Revelation 1, and like, hold on. It's getting like branches they burnt in the furnace. So he was so black, he looked like he was burnt. We make fun of each other and be like, bro, you black as hell, bro. It look like you got burnt. Right. Now look, listen to this. God left you in the oven too long. We don't yeah. make jokes like that with each other. So that's how cry, black Christ was. Now listen to this. I'm going to show you why we get white depictions of everything. Read. This is the book of 1 Maccabees of the Apocrypha. Verse, chapter 1 and verse 48. Chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. This is the book of the law. reason why we went to slavery because we broke God's commandments. The reason why all nations ruling over us because we broke God's commandments. The reason why the Arabs own the majority of these businesses in the neighborhood is because we broke God's commandments. Right. This all black city. Why the hell is they selling, selling our people streetwear and urban gear? Right. We're yeah. supposed to be selling that to each other. Right. But when we speak like this, what people say? We racist. Who owned that real store over there? Huh? Who owned the real store? Okay, why is they selling us rims? Why we ain't selling each other rims? What they doing in our communities selling us rims? And I'm asking you something. Do they stay in these communities with you? What they saying? I'm telling you. So not. You got to understand. All this is happening. Why? Because we break the commandments of God. What you say? A Israelite. You an Israelite. That's what we want you to understand. Do you understand who you are? Who are you? You are Israelite. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26. Because I want y'all to understand, everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice, something is happening right now. What's happening? Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So before y'all today, it's a choice. Y'all going to walk away from us at this point at today and make a choice. Either you're going to serve God and be blessed. Or you're not gonna serve God, or you're gonna be cursed. Right. Last time the brothers came out here, what happened? Y'all, they taught, and y'all had a choice to make. And when people didn't repent, people died. Right. You gotta understand, if you do not keep the commandments of God, people will die because of your choices. Yeah. Somebody gotta be the light in this community. Somebody gotta be the light of somebody keeping the keeping the commandments around here. Because y'all all gonna die if y'all don't hurry up and change. Yeah. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 30 and start at the last verse, the last two verses. Deuteronomy chapter 30, the last two verses. Something's happening. Y'all got to make a choice. What are y'all going to do? Read that thing. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 20. Yep. And verse, verse 19. Yep. I call heaven and earth yep. to record this day He's against recording you. this day against you. Right. You got to make a choice. What's going to happen? Come on. That I have set before you life and death. You got a choice right now to choose life or or death. How do you choose life? What do you do to choose life? I'm asking you. What do you do, bro? What's your name? Marcus. What do you do to choose life? Yeah. 
So try your best not to sin. You got to understand, sinning is a choice. Right. It's not something that's uncontrollable that you don't have no control over what you do. You make a choice to sin, right? Uh, give me that uh, yellow thin hair. Can I get that one? You know what I'm talking about? I want that. Because I want you to understand, when y'all sin, y'all making a choice to sin. It's not something that's... Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. Here it comes. Then the priest shall see the plague. Uh-huh. This is a plague. Y'all brothers got to understand, this is a plague. Come on. And behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. What is it? A yellow thin hair. How did your hair get that color, bro? What did you do? Huh? How did you, why? That was a choice you made, right? You gotta understand, when you made that choice, you chose to sin. That's the choice, you gotta, that's not being the light of God. Christ had hair like wool like yours. You should wear that crown proudly. But when you do that, you are choosing to sin. You're choosing to, you gotta understand, we got more than two options, bro. We got more than choosing to rap or go to the league. You got a choice to go and keep the commandments of God. That's right. Like he was just saying about our sisters, they got choices more than being thoughts of hood rats. Right. They got choices to keep the commandments of God. Oh. What's the third option? The third option is keeping the commandments of God and pulling ourselves out of this squalor that we in. Right. Christ right. grew up in these same type of conditions, and he came up out of it. So can you. That's Give me right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring so that's out. a choice that you make to dye your hair. That's right. a choice. You know what I'm saying? What other sins do you have control over? Smoking. Okay, see, you, you told on yourself. I didn't even ask. You told, you said that you smoke, right? That's a choice. Right. How hard is it to go get whatever it is that you're smoking, take your money and pay for it? That's a choice. That, that's, a, that's a whole process you got to do. But instead, you can keep that money and pull yourself out of this poverty. That's right. If you buying cigarettes, buying cigars, buying weed, that's money coming out of your pockets. Right. That's money coming out of a place that you can be investing and pulling yourself Teach out of this. Right. I don't know what. Give me that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Yeah. No. For thou art in holy people. You're not supposed to smoke. You're not supposed to dye your hair. You're not supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to dye your, you're not supposed to dye your hair like I just said. Why? Read that again. For thou art in holy people. Because you are holy people. You're not supposed to make those choices because you are a holy people. Right. You got more than two options, bro. That's right. You don't have to rap or go to the league. You don't have to rap or be a dope boy. You don't have to rap or be a gangbanger. Right. You got other options. Right. That's right. But we so caught up in this, we think this is normal. Right. We think this is home. We think this is comfortable. This right. is not normal, bro. Right. That's this is right. not okay. Trash just being around our community, just walking around. This is not okay. Why don't somebody pick this stuff up? Come on, man, read that scripture again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. But y'all brothers that stand here listening to the word of God, y'all can be that example. Y'all can make that choice. Come on. For thou art holy people. Y'all are holy people. Right. 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 Y'all Go ahead. To be a special people. You got to understand, you are a special people to God. But if you choose death, he's going to kill you. Right. If you choose to make the choices of not keeping the commandments of God, he's going to kill you. Go back to that Deuteronomy chapter 30, those last two verses again. It's a choice, bro. It's a choice. So again, you said you smoke. What else you dealing with? What about women? You married? What are you doing then? Got a little girlfriend. You got a little girlfriend. But that's not okay according to God, bro. Right. Right. You making that choice to whore that woman out, bro. That's what you are doing. You making a choice. You can say, you know what? This is a good sister. I should make her my wife. Or she not. Then leave her alone. Read that scripture. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 19. Verse 19. Come on. I called heaven and earth to record this day against you. Recording this day against you, bro. You telling me, you telling me out of your own mouth what it is. You know you do it wrong. And you choose to do it. Why? You know you smoking. You know you holding your sister out, right? You ain't, what, what type of choices can you Give me your script, you? seven seconds page blip. Ain't got time to fix your lip. Bread and butter better taste this. Come with cuss, that's a facelift. We'll fix it like dick in the booth. Pop a side from the streets to the booth. Pass the line, we bring it to Sweet as what you mean, so, you, so you're saying you, that, we still twerk. according to this Bible, you're living work. it. So you're living out the Bible. Don't believe it, you still worth it. You'd probably kill us if you could. 
Christ said that you would. Yo, if Ashley, come to give me that first Samuel God said that we and verse 3. Yeah. Right. We're going to get it out of the Bible to validate what you're saying. And then we're going to go in the Bible and validate your actions and how you, you do and conduct things and see if they line up with the word of God. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more exceeding proudly. God said talk no more exceeding. Don't boast yourself to be more than you are. Read. Let not agency come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. He's a God of what? For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. Egypt. Egypt is a Greek word for slavery or bondage. He gonna bring us into slavery again with what? With ship. We came into slavery with ship, just like the Bible prophesied, but it is happening. It just happened. Look, this, this, this stuff was written over 3,000 years ago. I just said that. So what is your argument then? What is your argument? We was already here and we came into slavery on ships. So I'm asking you this then. What is, hold on, let me ask you something. What's your name, bro? What is your name? What, hey, what's your name, bro? What is, look, what is your name? Listen to me. What is your, you, did you alive? I've been to Africa. I've been to Africa five times, bro. You are lying. You are lying. You never been to Africa. Listen to me. Listen to me. You got to understand who got, look. Listen to me. Listen to me. All black people ain't African. So you probably spoke. So look, you probably spoke to an African. You probably spoke to a Hamite. But the people that was on the west coast of Africa, these was Israelites, bro. And look, I'm going to tell you this. The problem with you is that you got no solution for the problems that's going on in our community. I know you don't. So what you up for then? Look, you are, either you coming up here to learn, either you... How you gonna how you gonna eradicate them, bruh? Tell them how you gonna how you gonna eradicate them? How you gonna eradicate them? With what? With what? With what? Listen to me. How's you gonna eradicate them with what? You got nuclear bombs? Do you got nuclear bombs? Do you got biochemical warfare? Do you got biochemical warfare? Bro, you crazy as hell, man. Hey, get have a dude that'll go out and get you ready. Be the type that'll go out and get you ready. So read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord, give me all that four and six real quick. I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with right here. You know, you know, this brother's you got to eradicate him. Guess who gonna eradicate him? We ain't gonna eradicate him. We ain't gonna eradicate him. You don't got the power to eradicate him. You don't got no power to eradicate him. I'm gonna tell you this I know. This I know how people ain't gonna come together and eradicate him. You eradicate each other. Me, what you got? This is the book of Hosea. I destroy for a lack of knowledge what Christ said. I'm saying, our people destroy for a lack Hey, you got nuclear power? You got biochemical warfare? Do you got uh, spike and drop? So how in the hell hate these folks? But it's checkmate. The way bishops lie, ain't no escape. Till the rookies time to let the vets play. You've been looking for us, it's a neck breaker, but you stuck and you can only spectate. Hey, watching as we make a fresh slate. Doing everything that the flesh can't. It's a reason that they feel we're hey, 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 hey. Hey, him that rebuke in the gate. Yeah. I see the looks on their face, Look on their face. But I can't be dismayed. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.